Police in Suffolk County today released the identity of a victim in the infamous Gilgo Beach murders. Police say Valerie Mack is the name of the victim previously called Jane Doe 6. She disappeared back in 2000 and parts of her remains were discovered in two different locations 11 years apart. Iowa News reporter Darla Miles has the latest. Today we are announcing that Jane Doe number 6 has been positively identified as Valerie Mack. It has been 20 years since the family of Valerie Mack has seen her smile or heard her laugh. But now, knowing her fate as one of the escorts who was a victim in the Gilgo Beach murders brings a whole new set of unknowns. She was working as an escort in Philadelphia at the time of her disappearance and also used the name Melissa Taylor. The 24 year old was last seen in the spring of 2000, about 100 miles away from Philly. In November of that year, the partial remains of a woman were found in Manorville. More than 10 years later, more remains were discovered in Gilgo Beach State Park in April of 2011. That's when the remains of five other victims were found. Working together with our federal partners, we have been utilizing a scientific technique called genetic genealogy. Advances in technology have been the best tool in the case of the suspected serial killer or killers that has perplexed law enforcement since the discovery of multiple bodies 10 years ago. Mac was ultimately identified when investigators used data from DNA websites like 23andMe to track her family down. Interviews were conducted with potential relatives who provided investigators with additional DNA samples which were processed and analyzed, leading us to determine the deceased woman's identity. That matched Valerie's aunt, her sister, Valerie's mother. While she is now deceased, the positive ID came from Valerie's own son, who is now in his late 20s.